All right, here's the scenario. You're rendering or delivering a video in DaVinci Resolve. And as it goes through, pow, you get this. Render failed, current slip could not be processed. So yours might be a little different from this. You can give this a try and see if this resolution solves your problem. If it does, great. If it doesn't, well, then maybe yours is something different because you know DaVinci Resolve has a tendency to use similar error messages for different issues. So I'm gonna show you a workaround and a fix for this. So I'm gonna hit okay. And what's happening here is I'm gonna go into the DaVinci Resolve up here on the left and then go preferences. And then when you're in UI settings, by default, it's gonna be on system. So click user. And you've got this option down here, stop renders when frame or clip cannot be processed. So this is basically telling it, Hey, if this doesn't work, stop so that the person, so that you can figure out what the problem is. So an easy workaround is simply to uncheck it, hit save, and go back and render your video again. This time it will go through because basically what it's going to do is it's going to tell it to ignore that error. Just skip over it. This will get your video processed, but it will create an issue later on because you'll actually see where it failed. And I'll show you what I mean when this video is done processing. So I'm gonna pause right now and we'll be right back. And we're back. So as we can see, it completed the video export. I'm gonna pull up the actual export and show you what's going on. And I'm just gonna scroll through real quick because I actually know where it is. It's around the like 15 second mark. So I'll hit play here. And you saw there it popped up media offline. If we jump back into DaVinci Resolve and we go to that 15 second mark, we might or might not see a media offline error. And that's part of the problem with this is as I can see here that it's not offline, it's showing on the screen. And interestingly enough, it's the exact same video clip that's right here as well. So I'm pulling from the same place. Oh, there we go, now it's showing offline. So this video clip is on a external hard drive, so maybe DaVinci Resolve is having a hard time there. I don't know, it's DaVinci Resolve, but it's kind of funny that I get the error here at the 15 second mark, but I don't get it here. You can also see this when you're in the deliver page. If I go back to preferences and I'm gonna turn my stop render back on, I'm gonna hit save, and I'm gonna to go to render this, and let's just rename it. There we go. And hit render. When you watch down here underneath, as it scrolls through, see, it hits that media offline point and it pops up. So this will tell you where the problem is so that you can go through and replace the file and figure out if that's the problem. So maybe you need to link to another location. Maybe there's something actually wrong with that original file. So there you go. There's two ways to fix that problem with that particular error. One, you can just overwrite it and ignore it, but you will then see the media offline on your rendered video, or you can actually watch to see where you get that error message at when you deliver it and go in and actually try to fix the problem. All right, as always, hope this helps and have a good day.